key in the corner to remind ourselves of what the blue pen represents. So the blue pen is going to be what kind of blood? Carbon yeah, carbon dioxide filled. Or you could also call it what? Deoxygenated. Deoxygenated. Good. <clears throat> okay. And then um, we're also going to take our pen or pencil and add in the organs that the heart works with. Which which is the organs that the heart works with closely? The lungs. Yeah. So we don't want to make these too big because we want to save space a little bit, but. These guys here, here, and here all work with the lungs, so next to them, I'm just going to draw a small little circle to show that the lungs are over here and on that side too, because we have one lung on each side. So tomorrow on your test, you will be like showing the path of blood through the heart um, and labeling the parts, but the most confusing thing I think is that once you start going, it's hard to remember which side's the right and the left, so the best advice I can give you is when you sit on your test, right which side's the right, right which side's the left so you don't get confused. So if this is your heart, then what side of the heart am I pointing to? Right. The right. Yeah, this is the right side. So remember, you want to flip-flop yourself, pretend it's your heart, and that's the right. Okay? So this is the right side of the heart. So I'm going to write here, right lung, and that will keep me remembering that's the right side. And this is the left side, left lung. <clears throat> There's also a structure on the right side that's not on the left side that can help you remember that too, um, where our deoxygenated blood travels through. Okay, so again, just whatever you think, you can, the, what you've grown up to know is right and left, flip flop it around. And then we're going to start with our blue pen, and this blood is coming from the body. Anyone know what structure this is that the blood's going to enter through first? Vena cava. Yeah, good. So, vena cava. So, I'm going to draw an arrow coming from the top. Because if the blood's coming from something above the heart, here's where it would enter. And I'm also going to draw one from the bottom, because if it was coming from the lower half of the body, it would enter there. And next to each of those arrows, I'm going to write the number one. <clears throat> and then down below, I'm going to write what number one is. I'm not going to do it on my heart, because I want you to be able to cover up the bottom portion of your paper and study it without like having the names already on there. So this can be a good study tool. So down here. Number one is blood from body cells entering, what's the structure called again? Good, entering the vena cava. Oops. That's our first step. Then from there, this blood, so this tube's gonna go behind the heart. This one's gonna go right down to here. What's this next chamber called? Right atrium. right atrium, right? And since we have that labeled right right there, that helps us remember it's the right side. So I'm gonna draw an arrow here. Oops, and an arrow here. Showing that blood's coming from both our superior and inferior vena cava into our right atrium, good. Okay, so down below. I added number two, the right atrium. <clears throat> now we're going to travel through a, what did I just go through? Yeah, a valve. So I'm going to do a little star under number two and just write that we have to go through a valve to get to the next one. And the next spot the blood flows is into the, from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Right ventricle. Yeah, good. So number three, right ventricle. There's really only actually four stops on each side. So it, when you're studying, you just want to study one side, the four steps, and then you can go to the other one. So from the right ventricle, we have to go up through a, what again? A valve. So I'm going to do a little star and just say, passing through a valve again. And we enter this guy here. It's the top one, and it's going to the lungs. So what's the name of this guy? Pulmonary artery there's two ways you know this one is it's going away from the heart so artery and two is like i said you're always going to have a on top of v so artery vein atrium ventricle artery vein atrium ventricle a v a v so this one we're going to label number four 
And it's the pulmonary what? Artery. Artery, away from the heart. Number four, pulmonary artery. Okay, so there's our four stops. Now the last place it's going to go is from the pulmonary artery to what does pulmonary mean? To the lungs. So that's what I'm going to write as number five, lungs. And up here, I'm just going to add a number five for the lungs. And you wouldn't need me to go back down to the words. Yes. Do you want me to stay here for a second? Or are we good here? We're good here. All right. So here's the words again. So what's going to happen in the lungs to our carbon dioxide? Yeah, it's going to get breathed out. It's going to get taken out of the blood into the respiratory system and breathed out. So goodbye, deoxygenated blood. And what are we going to pick up at the lungs? Oxygen. So now we're going to have to switch to our red. Before we do that, though, I'm going to draw in a six on this side with a red circle around it. And I'm going to write what's going on at the lungs. So at the lungs, we have CO2 gets dropped off at the lungs. Oops, you can't see that. CO2 gets dropped off at the lungs. And what gets picked up again? O2. Yeah, and O2 gets picked up. Awesome. So now we can keep just using red. Oh, no, we have to make our sixes up in the lungs. Never mind. Almost use red. So CO2 gets dropped off at the lungs, and O2 gets picked up. So I'm going to go back up to my lungs. And up here, next to the number five, oops, what is this? I'm going to write a number six in blue and circle it in red, just like I did down below, so you can see where that step happens. Okay. Once we have this swap complete, now we can switch to red fully. And I'm going to add what red means to the key over here on the side. So this is oxygen filled blood. Slash oxygenated. So now we need to go back into the heart because now that we have the oxygen, we need something to pump it to our body. That's where we need this oxygen going. So we're going to go back through one of these four. It doesn't matter which one. One of these four what? Or not until it's <laughs> What is another name for lungs? pulmonary and are we going to or away from the heart two so that's the pulmonary veins yeah we're gonna come in through our pulmonary veins so any of these four we can come in through and that's gonna be number seven and so down below I'll write pulmonary veins for number seven so that's our first stop and there's four stops for each side once we go through a structure, now we're in one of our chambers. What's this chamber we're going to head into? Good. Left atrium. So these guys come behind everything else and plop out over here, and these guys just plop right into here. So I'm going to draw arrows showing that from either side. We end up at step eight, which is the left atrium. And then we're going to have to travel through a valve. So I'm going to do that little star thing. Valve. And we end up down here. What's this guy? The left ventricle. Good. And then we're going to have to go through an... Actually, I should slow down. I'm going a little fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyone need this part longer? Yes. While we're sitting on this part, anyone know where we're going to have to pass through next after the left ventricle? We are going to go to the aorta, but first we have to pass through a valve. Yeah. So I'm just going to write valve in there. 
Oh, and that grant number nine. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so from number nine, the left ventricle, we go up through a valve into, what was that, Thomas? Aorta. Number 10, the aorta. And that's our final stop. From the aorta, where do we want to send all this blood? Body. Yeah. Goes to body cells. All right, so number 10 is the aorta, and then we're gonna add in down here because the aorta is up here, but it does wrap around back behind the heart, and down here it pops out. So I'm just gonna add it down there too and add a 10 down there as well so we don't forget about that little piece down there. But I will zoom out. <clears throat> and the last thing you have to do is just draw the arrows for number 11. So number 11 is just going to pop out here and up at the top three little guys, number 11 as well. That's our blood leaving to go to the body. I don't know what people need. You guys on the words right now or the picture? Picture? Picture. So we're going to practice this. We're gonna start with just looking at the right side and then we'll go to just looking at the left side. Yeah, now your like, paper looks crazy, right? So what I want you to do is, um, once you're done writing, don't look at your paper. Only look up here, really just quiz yourself. It's okay if you get it wrong, just give it a try without looking. So don't cheat, don't cheat. But here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna just follow the blue blood first. So number one, Deoxygenated blood from the body cells enters the heart where? Good, the vena cava. Then it goes to the right atrium. Good. Through a valve to the? Good. Through a valve to the? Away. Pulmonary? Uh, arteries go away. Pulmonary artery to the lungs. One more time. Deoxygenated blood from the body comes in through the? It goes to the? Good. Through a valve to the? Good. Through a valve to the? Good. And out to the? Good. Awesome. Okay. So that's one side. Those four steps. Now we do the other side. You guys are like pulmonary artery. It's like slow motion over here. Okay. Um, but it's good. You got them right. So nice job. Okay, next one. Um, we come from the lungs with oxygenated blood back to the heart through number seven. Good. <laughs> from the pulmonary veins, we hop into this chamber number eight. Down through a valve to number nine. Up through a valve and out through the? Awesome. One more time. In through number seven through the? To number eight. Left atrium. Good. Through a valve to the? Through a valve to the? Awesome. So there's only... Yeah, good job. 